Greetings, this is Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center here to bring you another fun and exciting art tutorial. Let's get started then. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a color wash painting and use stencils with it. First things first, gather your materials. You're going to need watercolor paper, watercolor paints, some painter's tape, water container, paintbrush, scissors, and some scrap paper and a pencil. First thing you're going to do it is you're going to taint your entire paper with water. So go ahead, get your brush wet, and just paint the entire surface of that paper with water. You don't want it so wet that there's pools of water, but you also don't want it so dry that you don't cover the entire surface. A good way to check is to just hold your picture up to the light and look and see if you see any areas that are dull or any areas that are completely smooth because there's standing water on them. If it's too dry, just add some more water, brush some more water on. If it's too wet, take your paper towel, take a paper towel and just mop, sop up some of the water. Once you've done that, you're going to take your, once you've got your paper completely covered, you're going to take your paintbrush, you're going to get it wet again, and you're going to choose a color to draw your central, to make a center line. So you're going to take your paintbrush and you're going to draw a line going right down the center. Notice I'm going straight across. I'm not doing a lot of back and forth with my brush. That'll give you a more even tone. So now I'm going to go to my second color, draw my paint my second color, which is yellow. I'm going to paint that on the bottom of my canvas. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit. Rinse out my brush again. Now for my third color, which is like a very warm blue, almost purple. Just that over the top. And you're going to mix that with the red. Red's gonna, it's going to mix a little with the red, that's okay. Have some purple there. Once you've done that, you're going to set that aside you're going to set your paper aside. You're going to get it untaped. You're going to set it aside and let it dry. You're going to take a minute and if you, you're going to take a minute and just let that dry while you bake your stencil. You can also take, you can also go and check out our Facebook and Instagram page and like accordingly. It really helps us out. If you haven't done that already, set this aside for now. And since this is a two-part process and it helps for everything to be dry, uh, I went ahead and I painted some paintings. Did some small color wash paintings ahead of time. There you go. But for the next activity, we don't just want the we just don't want those those color washes, we want some stencils. So like I said earlier, if you need to go ahead and get your, you're gonna go ahead and get your scrap paper, your scissors, and your pencil, and some painter's tape. You're gonna find a piece of paper, and you're gonna trace it to the size of your image. And then you're going to cut you're going to draw a shape on that image, on that paper and then you're going to use your scissors and you're going to cut it out and you're going to end up with a positive and negative image so you're going to take so let's start out with the positive image let's take the heart and stick it down on our paper our color field our color field painting 
Gonna get our brush wet and we're gonna choose a color to paint over everything. I'm gonna use a slightly cooler shade of pink. Notice I'm not going under that. I'm not, I'm painting over that heart, not under it. It's okay if the heart bleeds in a little bit. It's okay if you can still see the, sh the ooze stripes through the paint. If it's getting too dry, take your heart, take, get, just get your paintbrush wet and add some paint to it. Once you've done that, you're going to wait a little bit until your uh, painting's a little dry, a little drier. Eventually, you're going to take your heart and you're going to lift it off that painting and you will be left with a heart in the middle of your painting. But that's just a positive image. Hopefully you've saved that other piece of paper. Hopefully you see the, the other half of that piece of that stencil. And use that on the second one. Put that down there. Actually for this one, you put the stencil down first. stencil down on top of it first and then you can tape it down. Basically your paint is going to go on on the image part of the image that is uncovered but remember your paint's going to go on the part of the image that is uncovered by the stencil. There we go. So again paintbrush wet again. I'm going in with that cooler pink. Same thing as before. Try to go over the stencil, not under it. My brush out, clean out. Clean my brush out. Then wait for it to dry a little bit and lift up. of a heart. So that about does it for now. Um, thanks again for joining me. This has been Sarah Rushlow on behalf of Baker Hunt's Art and Cultural Center here to tell you to stay safe, stay, stay creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye.